Hi, we're here at Metro Christian Academy in Tulsa, Oklahoma, developing and working on the Metro Health Initiative. You know, our nation is suffering in a huge way health-wise, and the kids seem to be getting the brunt of it. According to recent research, children born after the year 2000 have a 1 in 3 chance of developing type 2 diabetes, which means not only a lifetime of side effects and other health challenges and even insulin injections, but 15 to 27 years of life lost. And if you think God doesn't care about your health, think again. This is our very life we're talking about. Metro Christian Academy has made some great changes in association with their Respect Your Body Week, which is an annual program, and now the Metro Health Initiative. They've replaced sodas in their vending machines with water. They've replaced candy bars with whole food nutrition bars. And get this, the kids are actually enjoying it. The athletes are drinking water instead of sports drinks. It's a great initiative to help honor God with your body, which is the temple. You know, we are going to partner with Metro, with their teachers, with their families, in the hopes not just to affect the five meals a week the kids are getting here, but the 16 meals a week they're getting at home. Eating well and living well is a family affair, and it can do so much more than just improve your appearance. It can improve your very life and your effectiveness in ministry. And Metro Christian Academy believes just that. Our hope is that schools everywhere in this nation will adopt programs like Perfect Weight America so that they can achieve the plan and purpose that God intended for their life. You know, in my own life, the greatest achievement I've ever accomplished is feeding my son and now my two new children in a way that's healthy, honoring God, passing down the principles that saved my life with them. You know, my son had the opportunity to go to his first birthday party a year and a half ago. It was for a three-year-old girl when he was two, and for lunch they had pepperoni pizza, potato chips, a juice box with 10% real juice, the other 90%, who knows. They had candy that was within plain reach and sight of the kids. On his way out, he was given a Batman gift bag with nine types of candy in it, which I think added insult to injury. Fortunately for us, there was some fruit lying around for the adults, and Joshua was able to have a little bit of that since no one else touched it. The next day, I took my son Joshua to the zoo. He loves animals like every kid does. And we found out there was a new litter of baby monkeys. We've never seen newly born monkeys, so we went eagerly to see the exhibit. As soon as I got up there, there was a sign right on the fence in front of me that read, These monkeys are cute. Don't feed the monkeys. Your food makes them sick. And I thought, there you have it. A sign for Joshua. Now when he leaves the house, I can put something right on his back that says, Joshua is cute. Don't feed Joshua. Your food makes him sick. You know, I may not put a sign on my son, and you may not put a sign on your children, but teaching your children healthy principles by first living them yourself and then making a healthy environment in your home is the greatest thing you can do as a parent. It says in God's Word that we should hand down His laws and commandments to our children, teach them to them when they wake up and when they lie down. It is the greatest thing you can do with your wonderful opportunity and responsibility as a parent. Metro Christian Academy is making great steps to transform the health of their students and families. Isn't it time you did the same thing? I'm Jordan Rubin reminding you to change your diet, change your life, and change your world.